Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. It's Captain Rahab coming at you guys with another video. Actually, you know what? This will be the first one. I gotta say thank you first off for the 100 subscribers. Um, about 105. It's actually really awesome. Um, kind of been working on it for a while. I'm super happy. Thank you guys first and foremost. So this is going to be something a little different. As you may or may not know, I do stream over at Twitch. It is Captain Rahab. So please make sure after you get done with this video, go over there and check it out. I haven't really been streaming too much here lately, but going to be going back to it soon. So here's um, a little bit of a video. So maybe the 100 of you guys might get to know me a little better as an individual, right? So in this one, we're going to be kind of going over my tier list of fast food restaurants as you can tell um i know what i'm talking about <laughs> so without further ado make sure you slap that like button subscribe and ring that bell so you guys always know we'll get notified when i go live right so let's go ahead and hop into the video i know for a fact there's one there's these two right here in and out and this other one i've never had i've never had in and out I don't know what this is, so maybe I have had it. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna check this out. We're gonna rate these in order of what I like the best. Obviously, number one, man, this is actually kind of tough. I didn't, I haven't planned on this, so like, this is really tough. You doing just food or price? Um, probably just like the overall food. So like, Chipotle is way up there. Like, I'm nervous about an S tier, though, because, like, I kind of want that to just be, like, obviously, that's the best of the best, you know? I'm a huge Pizza Hut guy. I love Pizza Hut. I love Taco Bell. White Castle's pretty good. Wendy's Chicken Sandwich. I don't care what Chick-fil-A has to say. I don't care about KFC, KFC's chicken. Because uh, I do the spicy chicken sandwiches, right? Just for that, Wendy's is definitely going up there. That's just really, really good. Um... It sucks because some of these don't go together. Like, how do I rate pizza? Wendy's was fucking good down in Georgia. Pretzel Baconator. See, I, I worked at Wendy's in high school, and that's how I fell, fell in love with their chicken sandwiches. The Baconator's always been good. Arby's, I'd say a C tier. See, the thing about Arby's is their fries are really, really good. I, and I like the roast beef, but it's definitely not my go-to kind of pricey for the amount that you get but it's definitely a favorite so i'm thinking you know first off i'm gonna have to do this because i just i don't know if it's because it's fast food but as far as chinese food goes i don't care for panda express i just don't i don't their orange chicken is a little too sweet and yeah dairy, dairy queen is extremely pricey their their burgers though They've got this flamethrower one with pepper jack cheese. And it's really good. Their fries are garbage. So we'll probably... And I don't do ice cream. Ice cream makes me sick. So Dairy Queen will probably be C. Just because that burger and them chicken strips. They do probably have the best like fast food like chicken strip like that. You know? Subway. Now I've said this forever. Subway is aggravating. Because... I'm a, uh, I, I, made, I grew up on like bologna and cheese sandwiches, right? Firm believer that if you're going to go and get a sandwich, might as well just go buy the lunch meat and bread yourself. And then you have multiple sandwiches. You have enough sandwiches for the whole week instead of dropping, what, five, six dollars for one sandwich for like one afternoon. So, Subway, if they had the other sandwich place, what is it, Jimmy John's? Jimmy John's is better than Subway. All the way around. So, it'll be C. Little Caesars. This one hits home real hard because in high school, we were there a lot. Subway is all around play good. Yeah, exactly, to be honest. And it's a great price. The problem, like, I don't go there for, I mean, they do have really good turkey sandwiches. You know what? We're going to go here. That's what I'm saying. This hot and ready pizza. Now, obviously, it's not as, like, great of a quality of, like, Pizza Hut and Papa John's. They don't even have Domino's on this list. Oh, they do have Domino's. Okay. But a lot of times, it's just not the best pizza. It's best when you need it. Like I said, in high school, this is where 
we'd all pile up in the car and go here for lunch real cheap feed the whole crew just for that you know what we'll put it we'll put it b tier heavenly b tier chipotle i'm not going in any order i probably should let's go okay we'll we'll start from here and we'll just go all right so arby's it's a lot of times not the best but their fries are really good Oh man, and they're, they're really messy. We're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put Arby's C tier. I I really enjoy Arby's. I like a good roast beef sandwich. Burger King, man, the Whopper. So if I'm going for a big sandwich and it's between Burger King and McDonald's, I'm going to Burger King. I like the Whopper more than I like the Big Mac and their quarter pounder or whatever they have for that sandwich. I just can't put Burger King at A, I'm really struggling to think about putting it at B. Just because I don't care about their fries. Their fries are just god awful. It's going it's going here. I think I've got Subway at B. I've obviously gotta have Burger King. You know what? We'll do this. And then So this is Carl's Jr. We have Hardee's on this side of the country. So I mean it's the same thing. Their burgers are really good. Their fries, they're all right. Um, also, this is the only place that's open here after like midnight <laughs> in my town. Though, I have had some plenty of drunk nights going through the drive-thru of Carl's. Even probably more so than Taco Bell. Um, well, not Carl's, but Hardee's. Their food's really good. It's the made to order, man. Anything that's made to order is obviously gonna beat out B-dubs, not B-dubs, Burger King and McDonald's. Again, it's their fries. Their chicken's not so good either. I don't care too much for their chicken. Their biscuits are homemade from scratch, but... Huh. You know what? It's going B tier. Wendy's might go up to S, and I might end up having to put this over on A. Like, that might be a thing that I'll do. Because Chick-fil-A... I've only had Chick-fil-A once, and it was a very long time ago, and it was for breakfast, I think. I had just woke up, so this, my only experience was a biscuit and chicken sandwich. And I hate biscuits so much because they're so dry. I've just, I've never had like a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. So I know I'm, I'm ranking it on the biscuit being really crappy for breakfast. Like I hadn't even like woke up and like brushed my teeth or anything. So the biscuit was super like, just terrible. All around, really bad. Um, that's my only memory of Chick-fil-A. Like, it could go down here. I could maybe not rank it. But I just, I've never believed in the Chick-fil-A hype. Plus, you can't go there on Sunday. So, that's C tier. Not gonna lie. Living in the barracks, I had that Fiat. <laughs> the gas was so cheap. There was a couple of times. Just take a 45-minute trip just to eat Chipotle. Um, not gonna lie, if there was ever a time I was in Savannah during the day, made sure to eat Chipotle. But it's definitely S. Domino's? Pizza's good. The sauce? I don't know what it is. Sometimes it's a little too saucy. Their crust is, like, dry to me. But I'm a stuffed crust kind of guy. Pizza Hut. For the day I die. Domino's just seems like it's a, a cheaper pizza. And for the price, I mean, it's cheaper than pizza, but not by enough. I think they have better variety, right? I think we could put Domino's B. Jack in the Box, they've got tacos, right? Oh, <gasps> yes! Okay, these mac and cheese bites. Wait a minute, this might not be that old. Uh, tacos, yeah. Okay, yep, yeah, I've had Jack in the Box. These little two taco things right here, absolutely amazing. Um, and this right here is really good. Not sure how long they've had them. <laughs> Any ones? I liked them a lot. We had this place next across the street from some restaurant we used to get California burritos at when I lived in Wyoming. And so I don't know. Jack in the Box is really good. That just because it's that's the only experience I have it was decent. The tacos were super cheap. You got two of them. For like a dollar and then you can get macaroni like tater tots and i love tater tots i love mac and cheese again i'm a big big chicken sandwich guy 
KFC spice, spicy chicken sandwich. Really upsetting. But their chicken is really good. So like Wendy's spicy chicken is amazing. But the chicken, like the quality of the chicken, you can tell is like fast food quality. KFC actually has a little bit like better chicken flavor. But there's not enough spice to it. They just put some spicy like chipotle sauce and some pickles on their sandwich which isn't that bad it just i don't know but i also really like their chicken tenders and their french fries they switched it up to the uh seasoned fries which go really good with a spicy chicken sandwich so that one's going a tier and i'm gonna be honest here i know a lot of people they always like to talk bad on mcdonald's now up until probably the pet like six months ago i just never ate mcdonald's i think like i, I went out of my way to like have the um, Mc, mcgangbang or whatever you know i tried that we were all young you know everybody goes through and like it's funny to order the mcgangbang and stuff when you're in high school you know you get the mcdouble you put the chicken the chicken in between it but i just i've never been a fan of mcdonald's here recently New DoorDash is just so cheap. And you get enough food pretty much for like that day and then the next day even. For super cheap. So because of that, I don't want to put it B tier. I like Burger King more than I do McDonald's, but the price, you know, we'll just put it on C tier. Because the food isn't that good. And it's really bad quality. Really bad for you. Um so yeah, that that's a no-go. Now Papa John's. But right around the same time he had his little shenanigans, shortly afterwards, our Papa John's just decided to close down. So, not had Papa John's in a long time. And even at that, I didn't have too much Papa John's throughout my life. But right before they shut down, I realized they were... Papa John's does crazy stuff with pizza. Probably has like the best variety. Like they have the weirdest pizzas and they're so good. So much better than Domino's. Like. Honestly, I could put Domino's down here and Papa John's up here. I think that's a good spot. It's been a long time. Papa John's, if you ever see this, please, please come back. And I've already discussed my love for stuffed crust pizza. I just love cheese, man. When I was younger, I actually made my own homemade pizza, like all the crust and the toppings and whatnot. It was a barbecue chicken pizza. We bought mozzarella sticks and rolled them up in the crust. It was terrible. <laughs> like the crust was too thick. I don't know how they do it. It is amazing. It is the greatest invention. I think any fast food, any like, yeah, fast food, I guess, corporation has ever done with food. All right, Popeyes. It's so damn expensive for what you get and their chicken is good not gonna not gonna lie these and fries are really good uh, and really good chicken yeah yeah but it's expensive like it's hard i don't want to put it on the same level you know what though i'm thinking like i said the price of popeyes this one's tough i'm gonna go ahead and put it in b tier you guys actually would like to see <laughs> me Get a spicy chicken from like everywhere we have that offers good ones and do like a taste test and we can come back to this and just do a spicy chicken like tier list right i would do that i actually got a roommate we'll get i'll get him in here with us and we'll just eat spicy chicken sandwiches from all the different places you know we'll rank them on how spicy they are and how good they are and everything else i think that'll be pretty cool to do sonic so I didn't work at Sonic. I worked at a warehouse, but we had like an hour. We could do whatever the hell we wanted to do on lunch. So like lunchtime, we just go to Sonic and they had, I found out that they have really good and really super cheap breakfast burritos, like everything inside of it. And they're really good, really good. And I love their chili dogs. Everything else, like, oh, their tater tots. You know what? They've got tater tots for fries. This is, this is a class. I don't know. Why I even talked about the burritos, knowing, well, they serve tater tots for french fries. That's, yeah, that's a class. Taco Bell. I mean, what can you say, man? It's Taco Bell. Actually, this is funny for you, host. Me and, um, 
Jimenez. I don't know if, if you ever knew about this, but every single P PT test we had, even after Jimenez got, uh, yeah, man, I, I, you love Domino's, Shane. I know you do, see, but me, I'm a, I'm a Pizza Hut fan, and I love Papa John's. Like, I think Papa John's is better than Domino's. Domino's, if you like, need some of that variety in there, because like Pizza Hut doesn't have like crazy pizzas; they just have stuffed crust, so it's gotta be number one. But, uh, all right, let's get back to the Taco Bell thing, Holst. Me and Jimenez, even after we got married and, like, moved out of the barracks. <laughs> you can take that back. <laughs> we, uh, used to go to Taco Bell every night for the PT test. We would carb load, is what we were saying. And, you know what? I can't say it didn't work. I passed every PT test. <laughs> so, Taco Bell... It's just true and true forever, man. You know, it might go S tier just for the simple fact that you almost can't ever go wrong with Taco Bell and bathroom trips after Taco Bell. It can be pretty rough sometimes. Yeah, well, the R service really sucks. Actually, you know what? Taco Bells everywhere suck. You're getting an A class. I hope you see this, Taco Bell. And you understand? Y'all might even go ahead and put you down a D. The amount of times that I get food from you guys. It's, it's a thing where, what, like 50% of the time before you pull off from the drive-thru, you've got to walk inside and have them remake your order? I'll still give you A tier, though. White Castle? Man, we just don't have a White Castle. I don't eat enough White Castle. It's good, but it's just not that good, man. If you got a whole group of people, and you put a little bit of money in, what is it, a 30, 30 pack of burgers is like 15 bucks? You don't even need a whole group of people, just a couple of people. The burgers taste the exact same 12 hours after you first get them fresh. You can even leave them sit out on the counter for 12 hours, come back and grab one. And they taste the exact same as they did when you had them like very like fresh, you know, straight out the window. I think it's gotta go see, like I love White Castle. Like these are, these are not just, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Wendy's going up to S class. Like this isn't like, I don't know, quality of food, right? This is just what I prefer. Hey, look, man, it's really not a, but it's the tater tots. Tell you guys, I really, really love tater tots. I think this might have to do it though, fellas. This is definitely my tier. I think they have Burger King a little high. See, their fries are bad, right? The fries are garbage, but the Whopper, and whenever they bring in the Angry Whopper, oh man, and actually, Burger King's breakfast is my, yeah, the drinks are terrible too. I guess really it's up there because Burger King breakfast is by far my favorite, and like working, over, I've worked overnights at like GT, so on the way home, that was their morning. The Whopper is good, their breakfast, I know you don't care for their breakfast, but I love the croissants amazing and they do them right too they have all the different styles for them places need more chicken and waffles they do yeah if you guys got any more ideas too definitely let me know on some tier lists